Vogue, it's Dixie D'Amelio, and today we're doing 24 hours with me, so we're gonna get my day started. So I'm currently at a red light right now, but I am driving to the gym. It is 8 a.m. and I'll film the rest later. Bye. So I'm back in my kitchen, um, just worked out. I have some coffee and I'm gonna make breakfast. I wanted to make a sandwich, but I just looked at my fridge and I have nothing to make a sandwich. I guess I can make some eggs. I don't really like eggs or cheese, but I'm going to be making this with both eggs and cheese. And we're gonna cut up some ham to put in the eggs. This is how my dad makes eggs. I don't think he used mozzarella cheese though, so I'm not sure how that's gonna taste. The best cook in my family is probably me, but I just don't like to show off because my mom cooks for the family, but I'm definitely like number one. Have you ever read the thing that you can't break an egg in your hand? Like it's physically impossible. I'm trying, like I'm actually, you can't break it. I thought that was very interesting because I swore I could. So after breakfast, I need to get ready for the day, fix my hair, because it obviously looks crazy right now, do some makeup. Then I'm doing a virtual fitting with Valentino because I'm shooting with them later this week. And then after that, I'm going to the recording studio and I'm gonna have a fun night. I don't have anything tonight, so maybe do some baking, play some video games. I don't know. The nights I kind of just like to chill. I have to turn this on. I moved to LA in May of this year and I moved by myself in October. Like it was fun living with my family, but I also was supposed to be in college right now. So I thought I needed to like learn how to grow on my own and like mature and I wasn't doing that because it was like, I would just have my mom do things for me. So now living by myself, I still go home every day to my parents' house and have my mom do things for me. But, I mean, that's what moms are for, right? I fully got into college of August of 2019 and I decided not to go just because traveling back and forth was going to be a lot. And I was also really scared because I saw someone make a TikTok saying that they would play my songs at a frat party. And that's really what like turned me away from going to school because I don't think I could handle that level of embarrassment, being at a frat party and someone playing my song. This smells really good. Wow, I'm amazing. I do not do my makeup every day, but every day I don't do my makeup always is the day that the paparazzi comes and finds me. So now I'm getting better at doing it every day. I don't do a lot. I do a little and just so I look alive. So today I'm going to the studio. I go a couple times a week, but I have an EP coming out soon. I don't even know if I could say that, but if I can, then hey, here you go. If I can't, I'm sorry to my record label. This is like, I'm not used to having a camera on me while I'm getting ready. I never really do any of this, but I am starting a documentary series with my family and I am super nervous because I make a lot of mistakes and I'm, no, it's all gonna be caught on camera now. The only thing I'm nervous about is Charlie and I's relationship being shown because we have a really good relationship, but we do get in normal sister arguments. We're just siblings and that's how we act. I should probably make a TikTok today. I don't remember the last time I posted. I always forget to post because I spend so much time watching TikToks. I'm scared to look. Okay, yesterday I spent an hour, two hours on TikTok. The day before, three hours. The day before, two hours. The day before, three hours. Yeah, so in the total week, I spent 18 hours on TikTok in the past week. That's actually crazy. I don't even realize I'm on it for so long. I'm just in bed, like it goes by so fast. I don't even know what my hair looks like right now. Probably crazy. And I think I'm already late on the schedule of the day. I think that's the clothes. A lot of choices here. So I'm gonna try on the outfits, send a picture to their team and get some feedback and we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go try this on right now. All right, so we have outfit number one. It's cute, comfortable, a little poncho. And here we are. 
We have outfit number two. The air conditioner is broken in my apartment, so I think it's like 85 degrees right now. All right, number three. I like this one. It feels so cute. It's like a little tea party dress. I'm taking a quick break, cooling down a little bit. It's very hot. This is the final outfit. I think this one's my favorite. I feel like I have a condo in Florida. I love these pants. I love fashion. I've always been around it. I actually worked at a stylist at a clothing store. The whole internet jokes about how I have no style. I have style, but I rather just wear sweatpants and hoodies. Sadly, I am not going to be wearing this outfit out today, even though it's super comfy and cute. I will be changing and then I will head to the studio. I'm probably already running late. I think I am. I don't even know what time I'm going, but I'm going now. Quick update, we actually went to the wrong studio. It is now 1.57, supposed to be there at 1.30, but we are on our way now. It's only 10 minutes away, so we will be there in a little bit. Oopsies. We are 43 minutes late. Very unprofessional, but this time it wasn't my fault, so that's fun. It says my name. Hey, this is Mitch, and we're going to be recording a song. Let's go. I have been interested in music since I was probably three but for a long time I just kind of moved away from it and focused more on sports and school. And then once social media started and a lot of the people on my team were in the music business, I was like, why not try it again? And I recorded a song, it went viral. Right now I'm trying to find my sound and what my voice fits best in. Even though there's a lot of haters, there are also a lot of fans who like my music and I want to keep creating for them, so. Sounds fully done. It's crazy. I'm really good. So I just finished at the studio and now I'm headed back to my house. See you soon-ish. So I am back in my apartment and Noah is here and we're going to be making cupcakes. Have we baked together? We made cupcakes together. We made a cake together. Why did you just take out pasta? Cause I was gonna. Oh. <laughs> so we've been dating for almost four months. We've known each other for seven, I think. Um, yeah. Four Malibu. months is coming up, so Malibu. what's happening for that? I'm doing it again. We are? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <That's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkles with a side of cake batter. I love meeting people, but I was in Noah's hometown in Arizona. I'm just a small girl. And then all of a sudden, some Noah fans come to the mall and attack me, kind of, with their words. And Noah just stood there and laughed. Tell them how old they were. Tell the people. Middle schoolers? It doesn't matter. Maybe, they were... maybe 12. <laughs> Little 12 year old boys, there's like, Four of them, they were in a group, right? And I had to fend for myself in the She middle. wanted me to hit them. They were 12 year old boys. I didn't know. I'm a 19 year old boy. If I were to touch them, I mean, it would not be a good situation. So I did the right thing and grabbed her and left. And they chased us out to the car and hit me with words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, his was five hours for the week. What was mine? Last week I was on for 18 hours. This week I was on for eight hours. Last week, 11 hours. Okay. I'm working on it. That's like one of my New Year's resolutions to get off my phone more. Be on my phone less. As you should. Like when we're spending time together, we're not really on our phones. I'm not. Right. It's been so long. How are the cookies doing? Oh my <laughs> <laughs> What did I do wrong? 
This is gonna cut back to the clip where I said I'm the best cook in my family. The best cook in my family is probably me. It's this like a soup. Mmm, uh. yummy. <laughs> yummy. I think we got enough in here to make one good cupcake. It's gonna do the same thing. We could make a cupcake in a mug, see what happens. There's like not enough to even cover the bottom. Maybe it's like 120. Dirty. It's better than those. It's very good. It's hot. really bad. So baking obviously did not go our way. We're gonna clean this up and we're hanging out tonight. So I'll see y'all later. But yeah, we need to clean this up right now. So BRB. I cleaned the kitchen. I'm going to take my makeup off and get ready for bed because I have to do the same thing tomorrow. All right, so I finished my skincare and I brushed my teeth and I'm ready for bed. So thank you so much Vogue for following me around for 24 hours. I hope you all enjoyed getting a glimpse into my daily life and I'll see you guys soon.